Today, let us take a look at how you can do spell check, spelling checks when you're working in uh, Emacs. Now, when you're writing, let us say, your next great, wonderful article, you can just uh, hover your mouse, or not really a mouse, we are talking about uh, cursor here. So let us say if I want to check the spelling of this, so let us say if I'm not sure whether this uh, particular uh, word is uh, correct or not. Maybe I'm, made, I'm making a mistake here. So this is, let us say, the word. Now what you can do, you can press uh, uh, meta followed by dollar and it will uh, then quickly give you some uh, recommendations, some uh, suggestions on top. So if you look on top, you have uh, uh, suggestions like uh, word, work, word age, wordy and so on. Now. Along with these words, these uh, suggestions, you also have uh, these uh, characters in the bracket. Like if you press zero or one or two or capital I or less than at the rate or capital B, basically the corresponding word will be replaced. So let us say if I want uh, uh, to replace this particular word KK, which is of course wrong with vodka. So let us replace it with vodka and I can press 5 and now we have vodka. Now if you uh, are happy with this you can keep it or you can uh, I mean I'm sure if you press this uh, uh, character then you want it. Let me do uh, control uh, shift underscore to undo and uh, let us try it again. So you can also do like meta and dollar or you can do you can actually type in here I spell and if you press enter, it will basically check uh, for uh, the uh, uh, basically it will check for all these all these spellings. But we don't really want to do this I spell uh, for everything. We just want to do it for a specific uh, uh, word. So let me show you one documentation uh, page. So if you read this, it says uh, meta dollar. And uh, this is what we did. So it will check for a spelling at a specific point. Uh, or you can do I spell, which we just did uh, by using the mode. It's not really a mode, but uh, meta x. And then check and correct spelling of all words in the buffer. If the region is active, do it for all the words in the region instead. In the region instead. So I think what I should have done is, let us say if I want this. Uh, spell check to work on uh, this particular region, not really the whole buffer, you, sh you should always read the documentation. So do so select the buffer, again, uh, meta x, I spell, enter. And now it will only look for the spellings in uh, the selected, uh, selected area. Now you can uh, ignore it or maybe let us do one more mistake here. So instead of uh, suggestion, I will have suggest SSS, IUN, whatever, some mistake. So let us do it again. And this time I'll use a shortcut. So meta and dollar. Now, the first word is a word. So I'll press zero. And the second one is a suggestion, which is also correct. So I'll press zero again. And now we have uh, the mistake corrected. And uh, this is definitely uh, quite handy and useful if you want to uh, use spell check within Emacs. Uh, I personally use it uh, a lot, especially when, when, when I'm worried about uh, my uh, mistakes, my spelling mistakes. And I think doing it is very easy when you are using these shortcuts like uh, meta x, uh, not meta x i spell or you can just do meta dollar. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you learned something new today. Thank you very much.